Could this be the perfect TV for van life? Stay with us and find out. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing. We are a little bit limited by the space that we've got available, so a 20 inch model was the maximum for us. We're regularly off grid, so didn't want to have to run an inverter, so 12 volt was also essential. We also really wanted a DVD player built into the TV. We had a look around and stumbled upon this model from Ferguson. They also have a good selection of other models, with different sizes, but all 12 volts. You can also purchase the same TV under Ferguson's Cello brand from Amazon. During this video you will see images of the TV screen which appear to have wavy lines and distortion. This is introduced from videoing the screen and is not actually present when viewing. In addition to our needs, we were really surprised to see how many other features this model had for the price. It's 12 volts out of the box, it even includes a 12 volt regulated power supply. It has Freeview HD Digital TV, plus a built-in satellite receiver. It's got a side-loading DVD player. Not only can you play files from a USB source, you can also record to it from live TV. Being in a van, we move around quite a lot, so this quick start button, which very quickly gets you to the point of searching for digital TV channels when you've moved area, is a great help. I ran some basic screen tests on the new TV and overall the quality was good, with good contrast, dark blacks and bright whites. The response rate was good, there's a little bit of cropping on the screen, but there's good 1080p rendering and little evidence of motion blur. Now looking at the viewing angle, which is quite important in a small space, horizontally the viewing angle is pretty good with picture reproduction being accurate from most positions. Vertically however, as you drop below the level of the TV looking up at it without angling the screen down, colour reproduction degrades reasonably quickly. This isn't an issue for us due to where we have the TV mounted, but it's worth bearing in mind that positioning of this TV is important. As with many portable TVs, the sound quality isn't fantastic, but it is acceptable, particularly in a small space. The set does have a headphone jack, so if we're watching a movie, we do sometimes plug our Bluetooth speaker into the set to get crisper and louder sound. As you can see, the power usage is pretty good, with a maximum of 1.5 amps when using DVD or satellite. So, if you're looking for a 12 volt TV that works with pretty much everything at a great price and don't mind the slight compromises we've talked about, then I think this is a great choice and great value for money. Coming soon, we'll do a comparison on some common dash cams and see whether spending a bit more money is worth it.